Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you some little things that I found very helpful during my bench test preparation. Some of these things I discovered myself when I was studying for the bench test and some of these things um, were given to me during my education and I found them really helpful and I wish I had them when I was preparing for bench test. So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to share with you that I have mentioned before is my Typodont. So this is not a Kilgore Typodont and even though it looks just like it, it is a cheapy uh, dupe of Kilgore that I found on eBay and it fits Kilgore teeth. I prefer Kilgore teeth for prepping for the bench test because I find that Kilgore teeth are more like teeth that were actually presented to me during my education. For fixed preparation in University of Oklahoma they used Kilgore teeth and I'm pretty sure that my Typodont was Kilgore now thinking back of it even though for operative they have used a different type of dent. so the teeth and the structure of a tooth and just the way it cuts was a little bit different so if you want to get a conditions that are as close to actual bench test i would recommend buying kilgore teeth in boston university which doesn't have a bench test but still they use moju pro type of dent for fixed preparations so that's pretty much the same what they used in Oklahoma for operative. It doesn't really matter. This is why the Kilgore would be the closest one to the real thing because the other option is Columbia type it on. And the teeth there are a little fatter, so they're kind of a lot more to cut. So I I just never use them. I use these was really helpful and I would recommend not wasting money on your Kilgore type it on and just buy a cheapy one on eBay. I will link it down below. The next thing you need to buy the whole bunch of teeth. I have a lot. I will link the website where I bought all my teeth, but uh, you can buy a lot of cheap eBay teeth, but I actually preferred real Kilgore teeth. They're a little more expensive, but they did feel more real. I felt like the cheap teeth that came with the Typodont, and you could buy more on off on eBay, they just weren't as stiff and you could cut them easier, which isn't good because you get used to the pressure of the handpiece. And I did buy real Kilgore teeth. And I will link the website down below where I bought all my teeth. The next thing that I didn't have during my bench, but it was actually given to me from BU that I found really interesting and really helpful is that this little thing this is a plate that has all of the ideal preps and it has layers as you can see and basically your goal is to reach the yellow layer so this gives you the exact depth of the prep and exact shapes over here so it's a good thing to practice on if you are pretty much the beginner as i was i've had to teach myself literally everything i went to med school if you went to russia and if you went to not if you're Russian, you will understand what I'm saying. If you went anywhere that is not the third medical school, which is very dental specific, you will you probably never prepped as teeth or never had any focus on them in your dental career. But anyway, that's for Russian friends only. Hello. Anyway, I had to teach myself from scratch how to prep them. And this thing would be really helpful because it took me a few tries to find out what actually I need and what my prep should actually look like. This will give you the exact um, shape and you can practice a lot of different things in here. So this is a good little thing. I do not where to I do not know where to buy it, but I will look it up for you and I'll try to link it down below. But no promises on this one because I haven't bought it myself. This was provided to me by the school. The third thing that I didn't have when I prepped for the bench test, but it is a must. And I mean a must. And when you go to your bench test, I would recommend to actually bring this thing with you if they allow to bring any instruments bring it this is a putty so this is a silicone impression material and we all know and love it and you can use it on your patients you you've used it before i'm sure of it so you can buy any brand of it you can find it online i will try to find it in linking down below this was provided to me by bu um I have never used this one actually. I used the one that was provided to me by Oklahoma. But this is very helpful because you can make yourself a little putty stand like this. And it goes right on top of your tooth and you cut it in two. Well, these are not the same tooth. But anyway, you cut it right the, down the middle. I'm sure you have used it in your previous dental school. But you cut it right down the middle and it will give you the exact shape and outline of your tooth. So you will know exactly how much to reduce. Then working with actual occlusion and reduction. You can check the reduction when you put your teeth together and you can see how much you reduced. But these are just a little bit 
easier and you can not only see how much you reduced but you can see the outline of the crown that it was before and the outline of the crown that you prepped these I still use them I don't think I will ever stop using them um, even in, in clinics I still use the putty stents and I'm sure a lot of people do so when you prep for the bench test for some reason I didn't think of buying it but now looking back I certainly would buy it for my crown preps there is no better advice than buying these things now I want to talk about the ideal prep guides these are these were given to me by University of Oklahoma and I never even used them but I did buy a few of these myself before I even went there and these were actually really helpful because as I mentioned I prepared from zero I had no idea what prep supposed to look like so I bought the these ideal prep models it has the prep on it this is the ideal prep that you should carve and this was really helpful it's a magnified model of the actual prep i bought two of these i bought the one for the upper and the one for the lower class too and these was really really helpful of course these are not the exact dimensions of what you should be but it was really good for me to see what they actually should look like and in oklahoma they gave us the whole baggie of them for all of the teeth so we could know what the prep should look like and therefore all of the classes these are for the amalgam preps but the composite preps are pretty much the same aside of the sharp angles so these two were really helpful for me and i bought them on the same place i buy my kilgore teas so i do recommend you looking into it if it's your thing um go ahead the same effect would probably be just googling ideal preps and seeing it on the picture but this is a 3d model so it gives you a little better idea on how that works the next thing that i really want to share with you that may or may not be helpful but these three things that were given to me in university of oklahoma for prepping my crowns i found extremely helpful and they're so so simple these are the measuring sticks for different millimeters this is two this is one and a half and one so when you need the exact reduction for your crown of one one and a half and two depending on the material of the crown you just stick this thing in between your tooth and a putty guide so just like this the tooth would be standing in here and you can just measure if the stick feet fits uh, smoothly that is exactly one millimeter or one and a half or two however many so this was so simple but so helpful I think these uh, particular sticks are called prep shore guide if I'm not wrong I will look it up and I put it down below and they're pretty expensive unnecessarily expensive because I think they're 80 bucks the just these three things of course I got them with my school kit so the price was different but you can probably find something that is exactly two millimeters one and a half millimeter and one millimeter wide and use it for checking your crown preps which is a good idea you, oh yeah there it is it's a it's a prep shore guide it says so on, on the side if you can get your hands on these if you can find them used on ebay or if somebody's graduating and, and can give them for you for free definitely get them don't think that they look simple and flimsy and kind of like a childish toy which they do but they were extremely extremely helpful for me the exact same thing if you can't find them that's okay they, you can do the exact same thing with your explorer you can just measure how much you reduced but these were just so easy and so simple and i love using them i still have it, them in my lab kit this is my roll up these are all of the instruments that i carry with me to the lab and i have a lot of these but this are so helpful and i still cannot let go of them they're much more convenient than an explorer but again this is not a must but that would make your life a lot easier the last thing that you definitely should have when you're prepping for your bench test is enamel hatchet or enamel hatchet i'm not i still don't know how to pronounce that word correctly is it an enamel or enamel i'm pretty sure it's enamel anyway enamel hatchet and gingival marginal trimmer could be useful for those sharp angles for amalgam it sometimes is useful for me i don't use it a lot i pretty much never used it during my bench test prep you can do the exact sharp angles just with one instrument you can do the same thing with just an enamel hatchet um and i bought a couple of them because they get a little dull when you prep for the bench test but you definitely want to bring it with you do to your bench test 
if they allowed the instruments. Sometimes it wouldn't come in the cassette that they provide you. So if you can smuggle it in, smuggle it in. This would be really helpful. Besides, the width of the blade of enamel, an animal, enamel, Animal hatchet is exactly one millimeter. Yeah, the width of the enamel hatchet is exactly one millimeter. So when you prep your class twos or class one or whatever you need to prep, you can just measure the width just by putting the enamel hatchet and it should pass freely throughout, throughout the entire uh, prep. And then you know that you're wide enough, you're good. So that is a very helpful tool in more ways than one. Other things are of course obvious. You will need your explorer, you will need your mirror, you will need your burrs, but these things that I mentioned today are just little things that are gonna help you that are gonna just push you forward a little easier in case you're starting from scratch and you have no idea what to do they would have definitely been helpful for me I will talk more about specific bursts that I use and about the preps that I do in my future videos right now I think this is all I can do without my camera equipment to actually film the preps I'm still working on it I'm working on it pretty slowly because I'm in clinics right now and it's just a mess so I will see you in my next video with more specific details for your bench preparation if you like this video please give it a like it actually does help me a lot and if you could subscribe to my channel you would see a lot more videos on bench desk preparation and just dentistry in the United States thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye